What do you need to let go of? Think about it. We all have stories inside our head. We all got things that we've said to ourselves that actually become real and they shape who we are, how we think, what we do, and what we don't do. I've told this story many times before. We get these thoughts planted in our head, and you know what? We don't know who planted them. We don't even know who said them. Maybe we do. But I think of calling my mom one day and saying, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm dropping Steven off at the university right by your old apartment. And she's like, oh, that's nice. What are you talking about? I said, you know, in the orange circle, Felix's, the apartment above Felix's. And she's like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, mom, you told me when I was really young that you lived in that apartment. And she's like, honey, I never told you that. I want you to imagine, I went around for over 40 years of my life believing that my mom lived in this apartment. And every time I was in the orange circle, I would tell everybody, hey, you know what? My mom used to live in that apartment. I also found out recently, there is no apartment there. What have you been holding on to as true and real that is holding you back? Now, mine wasn't holding me back, it was just a false. But I've also been told, hey, you know what? With two busted hips and you, know, you have those surgeries and your back is this, you can't work out hard, you can't do the things you wanna do because you're gonna hurt yourself, you're gonna have a bad back. Everyone in our family has a bad back. And you know what? My trainer, Rich, said, that's not true. How do you even know that that's true? How do you even know that's true? Have you ever worked out five days a week? Have you ever stretched? Have you ever really managed your diet the right way? And all of a sudden, here I am, 500 workouts later in two years, and you know what I've discovered? I'm stronger, I'm more fit, and I'm more flexible. I took an old truth, your family has bad backs, you had a hip surgery, you're never, you're, my, I had a doctor who actually told me you're gonna have a hip replacement by the time you're 40. I'm almost 50. What are you holding on to as true? What have you been told that you have bought into that is absolute BS and it's holding you back from greatness? Did somebody tell you something about money? Money is the root of all evil. People that make money are evil. You're never gonna have enough. You have to pay too much taxes. It's not worth it. No one that makes money is happy or any other BS stories that have stopped you. I had a client, her parents legitimately made a lot, lost it all made a lot, lost it all. And it happened twice between the time she was born and 12 years old. And you know what she believed? She believed that when you make it all, you lose it all. When you make it all, you lose it all. So she never wanted to make too much because if she made too much, what happens next? You're gonna lose it all. She held on to that story until we had a private session and I got her to just unpack it and question, is that really true for everyone? Or did your parents not manage their money correctly? Did they overspend, over leverage, and not pay attention to the details? And she's like, yeah, my parents still don't do that. And you know what? She went from making $100,000 a year to $800,000 a year. And guess what? She didn't lose it. She didn't have to. Just because someone else planted that story in your head, it doesn't have to be true for you. You are a few behaviors and beliefs away from absolute greatness. Why don't you take the time to write down all the things you believe to be true around money, business, life, relationships, and look at those stories and then share it with someone else and say, do you believe any of this? Is any of this true? What if I told you this is why I'm at where I'm at? Any rational human being would look at those thoughts and say, why? Why do you even believe that? What if you, but I've seen you do other things. I've done this with people before, I'm telling you, you're walking around some beliefs that are not supporting you and it's time to change. Start today.